Hey there, I'm an astronomer and science communicator star, Space Adventures. Today we've got some exciting news about South Korea's space technology, ready to make waves on the global stage once again. Countries all over the world are jumping into the lunar exploration game. In January 2024, the first private moon lander, Peregrine, sadly couldn't stick the landing. But in February, Intuitive Machines Nova Sea Lander made history by becoming the first private spacecraft to successfully touch down on the moon's south pole. Now the Korean Astronomy and Space Science Institute, as known as CASI, is gearing up to send their cutting-edge creation, the Lunar Space Environment Monitor, which is known as LUSEM, to the moon aboard the U.S. unmanned lunar lander Nova Sea by the end of 2024. Its target? The fascinating Reyna Gamma region on the moon's near side. This area is known for its mysterious lunar swirls, a result of magnetic anomalies on the moon's surface, making it a scientific treasure trove waiting to be explored. Once LUSEM lands in the Reyna Gamma region, it will get to work observing high-energy particles hitting and bouncing off the lunar surface analyzing the difference between them. South Korea is participating in this global lunar exploration project as a testament to the recognition of our homegrown technological prowess. With the successful launch of the homegrown Nuri rocket, we've already proven our capabilities to conduct self-sufficient space launches. Moreover, our space technology has been thoroughly validated through the successful deployment and observation missions of the KPLO, also known as Tanuri. Now with LUSEM's anticipated successful mission, we're eagerly hoping that South Korea will take another significant stride towards becoming a space powerhouse.